Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update for my makeup rehab series. Today we're going to be chatting over all of the makeup that entered my collection in the month of May, as well as the products I used up or hit pan on. For more details on how I'm doing this beauty bank style low buy, which I was inspired by It's Just Steph on how I structured it, though of course tweaked it for myself, I recommend watching the intro to my Makeup Rehab Reboot, which I will link up in the iCards for you. <sighs> we ended last month because of the Sephora VIB sale in the negative, and it's just gotten worse from there because the a big portion of my VIB sale purchases didn't actually arrive until into May, so it counted towards my May products. <laughs> Let's just get into it. I've actually been really, really well behaved. Besides the Sephora products, which I technically bought in April but didn't arrive until May, I only kept a couple things from BoxyCharm and I also received a gift. Other than that, nothing else happened. June is going to be another story. I've been really good. I've kind of decided to be on a bit of a no buy until I'm back into the positive where I should be. We might reevaluate my point system, like where I, my point balance, if you will after my July 1st makeup inventory check-in because the whole point is only increasing my inventory by 20 and being so far into the negative like am I really that far past my goal for the year? We'll have to see. I'm getting a little bit better with decluttering as well as having discovered a couple of expired products in my collection which are obviously lowering my makeup inventory numbers, but I'm not using those as rewards for my beauty bank. I hope that makes sense. The exception I'm going to tell you right now for June is the Glam Light collab with Michaela J Makeup. I'm so excited for that because I love her, but also the Ice Cream Dream palette from Glam Light has been at the tippy top of my wish list for months and months and months. I've been waiting for a really good sale before ordering that. I know I'm for sure going to get the Michaela palette and the Ice Cream Dream in one order, just pay shipping the once and potentially customs into Canada. We'll have to see. Uh, but that's the only makeup purchase I have planned because I'm set. Oh, I <laughs> have way too much. Okay, let's get into, I always go the wrong way, the points. So coming in, my balance as of May 1st was negative five and a half from the VIB sale for reference. In April 1st, I had plus five, and May 1st, I had negative five and a half. So, the Sephora VIB sale, the package that arrived into May had five makeup products in there. I will link my haul up in the cards if you're interested in seeing everything I got, um, including you know skincare, hair care, as well as the things that arrived in April. But I'm just going to quickly share with you what the five products are. I have the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Bronzer in the shade Kiss of Copper. A little freebie I got is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm in the shade Sincerity. And then there were three makeup items in a Sephora Favorites kit that I got in that order. The Kosas Tinted Lip Balm. I count my lip treatment lip balms, lip scrubs in my makeup category, um, in my spreadsheet. So this has to count. The Ilia Multi Stick in the shade Dreamer. I really enjoyed this when I used it in my collab with Rebecca Morgan. As well as the Tarte Cream Bronzer in the shade Seychelles. And then I do get 
the BoxyCharm base box as well as the premium box, but May really wasn't a good month for BoxyCharm for me. So I only have two products, two makeup products, I should say, that I kept from my May BoxyCharms. The first from my base box is the Mellow Lip Gloss in the shade Saint Tropez or Saint Tropez, I'm not sure. It's like a mauve nude kind of gloss. And then in my premium box, I kept the Bite Agave Daytime Lip Balm. Again, I keep it in my makeup tracking um, because I wear them daily, almost as if it was lipstick at this point in our world. So not exciting, but these counted as two points. And then lastly, it was my husband and I's 10 year, like for dating anniversary, which was really special to us. But yet again, another anniversary in lockdown. So we didn't get to do anything, but he did make a Sephora order that I'm so pleased with. So there's another two points gone. Um, in my order that arrived, there was a sample of the Tatcha Silk Powder. This counts as a point. Even samples and stuff count as points because they also count as makeup empties for me. I always do the math um, of how much you know product is in this, if possible. I don't even see if it, oh, 0 0.3 grams. <laughs> but this counts as a point, but What's really special that Jeremy got for me for our 10 year anniversary, it's already all grubby. I'll rub it on my shirt. It's the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. I would never spend this much money on an eyeshadow palette. For Canadians, this is like 86 or $87. This is going to be so special to me. I haven't used it yet. I want to take pictures and preserve its beauty forever and ever. I was drooling over this the second it released. I know it's warm neutrals with a pop of teal, basically. They're a bit more greenish and there's some like cool toned blues in here. That's just my favorite color story. I don't know why. I know a lot of people like don't touch the blues or teals in their warm neutral with that pop of color that's like very overdone nowadays, but often I reach for the teals more. I don't know. I'm thinking Dream Street, Wild West palette, uh, even the Urban Decay Born to Run palette is kind of that color story as well. I just feel so lucky to have this and I'm so so grateful for it. It's crazy how like as a lover of makeup I just this meant a lot to me. Okay so if you are keeping track and I'm doing my math correctly I'm at negative 14 and a half points. So the question is, did I finish anything and did I hit pan on anything? Now, <laughs> May was not a good month for empties, not just makeup empties, but empties in general. I have so many things, both makeup and beauty wise that are so close to being done, but I just, couldn't get it done for May. So hopefully June, I will be crawling my way out of this hole. I'm getting half a point for empties because I forced myself to finish this. It's a primer out of my makeup inventory, so it counts. This is just a tiny sample of the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip. And I didn't even like it. I This foil pack lasted me three days and I wasn't impressed with it. I do have another of this exact size and I also get half points for pans. And if you're keeping up with my Pan Those Eyeshadow series, I did hit one pan this past month and it was in my Wet n Wild Not A Basic Peach palette. 
I hit pan in this shade. So there's another half a point. And that's it. So half plus a half is one. So I went into June 1st with negative 13 and a half points. I kind of feel really defeated by that number. Like that's pretty far in the negative. But like I said, I have some things that are so close and really I, I got my purchasing fix out of the Sephora VIB sale and now I'm good. My makeup drawer of shame is overflowing. I have a whole giant cookie jar full of lip products I haven't used in almost 18 months. So there's really no need for me to buy anything. And I know some of you are gonna say that like, oh, gifts shouldn't count, but the purpose of my low buy or like this makeup rehab series is not how much money I'm spending, but how many, how much my makeup collection increases this year. Like I need to keep the balance better of in and out. Like I need to be better at panning really. Um, but I've been doing my makeup way more than I used to. And I'm really excited about my upcoming makeup empties. I could have had another makeup empty. My mascara I've technically had open and been using like it's the I only keep one mascara open at a time for three months already but it's still going strong honestly it's not flaking my lashes still look great <laughs> that sounded so humble so I'm deciding to go four months on that which is still you know well within the realm of what's normal I just am usually pretty consistent about three months and then moving on because usually at that time it's starting to flake or my lashes aren't really looking that great anyways but the Ilia Limitless mascara is still going strong so that will be a for sure empty next month as well and I've been working really hard on working towards pans and I don't know oh I did pull something out because the foil packs and all of that count towards my points, I realized I've had this in my drawer forever. This is the Stellar Limitless Foundation. I don't even know if they make this anymore or if Stellar is just not sold on Sephora Canada anymore. I'm not sure what the deal is with this, but this is a line in my foundation inventory. I'm thinking I can mix these two shades. I don't feel the need to like use all of them. This is a super deep rich shade. I could maybe use this as a mixer, but like I don't see the point. Like this has been in my drawer for years. If I could use up what will work for my skin tone, I will count this as an empty and that will be half a point. So there's that. Overall, I'm feeling better about my makeup consumption. I went a little hog wild at the Sephora VIB sale, but I budgeted for that money wise, just not point wise. And I only kept two things from my BoxyCharm. So overall, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I feel like I've talked myself around in circles and I'm losing my voice because it's almost midnight. Here's hoping that June is a really exciting update for my makeup rehab series. I have my fingers crossed. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.